Hello! Let me introduce you to the new WP Configurator 3.0. Let's start with the settings. The settings contain all the general options for the WP Configurator. All the things you want to customize are all here. You won't be having a hard time thinking about how to make your WP Configurator layout be perfect. Next, the Config Mail List option is where a request from Get a Quote of From is listed. Customizing your product and clicking on the Get a Quote button will show a pop-up to gather customer information and then click the Submit button. The configured product detail information is sent through email to customer and website admin. Let's proceed to the Inspiration option. A configured product design can be saved as an inspiration for an easy and quick selection. Saved inspirations are listed also on the back end. We can now start creating a new configurator where it is much easier this time and improved layout. You can enter the name of the configurator, choose your product, and even choose style for your configurator. After you created a new configurator, you will now see a new backend layout. First, you will notice a WordPress icon where you can go back to the WordPress dashboard. Second, the back icon is a simpler way to go back to the configurator dashboard. Third, the additional layer lets you add the layer choosing from the group, subgroup, and image. Fourth, the view. This means you can view your product on all sides. You can add, edit, and delete a view. Fifth, the hotspot. If you want your product to be easily navigated without using the basic controls, you can add a hotspot using this option pointing to the part of your product. Sixth, rename layer you are allowed to edit or rename the product image for customization. Seventh, duplicate layer. This option is for duplicating the layer of the product. Eighth, delete layer. This is for the deleting of layers. Ninth, show or hide lock layers. This means you can lock a certain layer. Also, this option includes showing only lock layers and setting all layers as unlock. Tenth, show or hide active layers. You can show only the active layer, hiding the selected layer, and set all layers as visible. Next, undo or redo. To undo your recent action, just click the undo option or control Z. And to redo your recent activity, just click the redo option or control Y. Next, duplicate. This is for the duplicating of the whole configurator project. Next, information icon. If you want to learn more about this plugin, you can simply click the icon and it will direct you to the main website of WP Configurator. Next, save. This function has a save as draft option. See preview page and update or save changes. Next, we have here the configurator title, which is PS5 Configurator. And below is our first group layer that contains all the quick options on the right side of the group layer name. On the other side, we have here the control settings for the group layer where you can choose what control type, either color, label, or icon you want to display. Under the control settings, you have other settings that include description, required option, multiple selections, hide control option, and deselect child option. For the group layer we created, we need to check the required option and add an icon if it is available. The global settings contain Choose Product Option, Choose Style Option, Choose Form Option, Contact Form Option, Base Price Option, Load Configurator option and Configurator Template option. Next will be the custom CCS and custom JS where you can customize your layout more. So now let's focus on creating the Configurator product. First, we will add the default base case of the PS5 controller. We must add the icon if we have and the image of the controller and set the layers as an active layer. For the default base group layer, we also need to check the hide control layer for it to hide on the front end. 
Next, we will add another group layer and rename it as Case and set it as required. Then we will add a subgroup layer and rename it to Left Group. And we will also add the image layer and rename it also to Red Orange. Then, we will add the icon for the image layer and add the product image. This also needs to be set as active on load. Going back to the subgroup layer, if you have lots of choices and it needs to choose only one, you have to enable the deselected child option. Now, let's create another subgroup and name it as middle case and check the deselected child. Under the middle case, we will add an image layer and rename it as red orange. Add the corresponding icon and product image. This needs to be set as active on load. Upon creating another subgroup, right grip, back case, and touchpad case, the same process will also be implemented. Now we are good to proceed with the other parts of PlayStation. Let's add a new group layer and name it Buttons and enable the required option. So we will add a subgroup and name it Directional Buttons and enable the Deselect Child. Under the Directional Buttons, we will add an image layer and rename it as Yellow. Adding the icon, Product Image, and set as Active on Load will be the next steps. Another subgroup that will be added is the Functional Buttons doing the same process as the previous subgroup. The next part of the PlayStation will be the base joystick, so we need to create another group layer. We will follow the same process until we completed the parts of the product. As you can see, customizing a product is much easier when you have the WP Configurator. And even if you're the one who will create a certain product, it will never be a problem. You can start customizing your own product or try any of our demos on www.wpconfigurator.com to explore the innovation of selling your products online.